Okay, now we're going to have a look at the event setup tool. So either you've gone the option of manually installing the code on your WordPress side or your Wix side, or what kind of um, backend side have you installed the code manually yourself, or you've gone through the partner tools like Shopify and automated it through that way. Okay, so we're going to click on continue here. And we're going to turn on the advanced matching. So we're going to give that information. I'm going to click continue. So here we go. So we're going to click the open event setup tool. Okay, so we're going to go with fibermarketing.net. Where you see here, it's um the open website is is grayed out. You're best off just clicking return because there's something odd with Facebook with the entering the key information. Okay, so this is where we're going to track our events. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the events that we can use. So let's just say we're going to track um, a URL. So what events have we got? And they're all very self-explanatory. So when somebody adds to the cart, they initiate checkout. A lead could be when somebody goes to a landing page, they register for an event. So on the thank you page, you would use your lead. When somebody makes a purchase, when they add their payment info, they add something to their wish list, they complete their registration. So that would be for a webinar or if um, it's registration to sign up on a site, I use that for um, clients who have um, med spas and then they register on on their internal system. So we, we bank the registration there. And um, when somebody submits a contact form, so we can have that. So in this case on the URL, it would be when somebody lands on the thank you page, a customized product, when somebody starts to design their own product based on what the options are, when somebody makes a donation, and find location. So especially good for local businesses and schedule. And when they do a search on the website, when they start a trial, they submit an application and um, subscribe to the RSS feed uh, and then view content. So the basic one for the entire website would be view content. And then you want to do URL contains because sometimes you don't know if they are going to be HTTP or HTTPS. So I generally take that away and go with fibermarketing.net or whatever the website domain is. So we're going to click confirm. And this is the first one here that we have. So next, we're going to have a look at we want to track um, the URL to see people who are interested, let's say, in packages. So you can scroll through and the event setup tool is going to stay here. So say if you didn't have it handy. So here I will go up. And I will grab the first bit of the URL. And I will say track URL, select an event. And I could say this person is a lead because they're checking out the, the cost of the packages. So then I'll go URL contains. And let's paste that in there. Click confirm. OK, so that one is there. OK, so the next one then we could have is contact us. So we have a look at the form here. And let's track the button. So when somebody clicks on the button, we're going to track somebody who contacted us. You could also use the contact button for if you had an email address on your website, if you had the phone number on there. So it's highlighting what it thinks um, or no, what, what could be tracked as a button because that's the button to the home page, URLs. So we're going to click the send button here. And we're going to track contact. Click confirm. And that is done. So that here is noted. And the same I would do for a strategy session. So this would be a, this would be a form of a lead. And I'm going to say I want to track a new button and click on the book strategy call. And I can say lead. So that will that will do that one. So that is what we say we want to track here. So obviously, if you had a landing page with a cart, with a checkout page, it would be the different setup that you'd want to go. So we've got our events done. So we're going to click Finish Setup. So here we go. We're going to review them. So our view content is fibermarketing.net. So that means any content that comes through is going to be counted as view content. 
a lead is going to be somebody who goes to the package page. So it depends on how you want to define it. You just need to know how you want to define and measure because it all just comes down to measurement and having a, a key understanding of what it is. And then here we go is lead when somebody clicks book the strategy call now and then the contact us is the is somebody who clicks send and the submit application is when somebody lands on the page. Thank you. So we're just going to click finish. And there we go. We have our content set up. So you can see here. So if you had a look at the Shopify model, this is the partner integration. The partner integration was set up through Shopify. Whereas here, what we just did was event code. So I set up this on a separate website or it's the event code, but I just want to be able to show you everything that you need to know for setting up that. 